about Turtle Rock between Blade and Foggy. Um, Blade spawning as the blue human player over here at what I'll call the five. Over here, we have Foggy spawning as the Yellow Night Elf. This is taken from the WGL Qualifier, I believe. WGL Western Qualifier, the winter season, um, getting underway. In, uh, in SC, when, when, do, when you do attack move, your units ignore enemy illusion units. Does that work in Warcraft 2? No, it does. Um, no, it does not. Uh, when you do attack move, um, it doesn't, it, it just it attacks um, any enemy unit that it sees blade mastery illusions and wand of illusions also count i am doing very well thank you for asking um and i usually stream for um, just an hour every day um it, it, it may not sound like very much but um, you know, went to the pediatrician's office, and yes, there is a point to this. Went to the pediatrician's, or my wife went to the pediatrician's office yesterday, and you know, talking to the pediatrician, and they were saying, oh yeah, you know, like to make sure that your your daughters speak, and you know, and, and are on track, you should really read with them um, an hour a day, each one. I'm like, wait, I, you want me to read? I need to read one hour to each of my children a day. That that's that's three. Like my, I know my math's right here. That's three hours. Uh, do I have enough time to like read for three hours and still like have an eight hour a day job and you know get the proper amount of sleep and and do all of those crazy things, right? Like what, what I, like, and then all of a sudden I realize how precious one hour of my time is. Two ultra classic maps. Well, all right. So Turtle Rock ver uh, and Twisted Meadows today, uh, uh, easy to see colors, blue versus red. As we are looking at the Archmage now making its way back out onto the field. Archmage going to drop some water elementals, clear out perhaps this creep camp off to the side. Going to be able to finish off this ogre, war ogre Warrior creep camp without much of a problem. Two games a day probably means close to 500 games a year. Um, yeah, prob probably, uh, yeah, probably about that. Um, if I do about 10, 10 to 12 games a um, t 10 to 12 games a week, some games are shorter than others, or sometimes I go over a, a, an hour just a bit, you know, like like 25 minute, 25 minute, 25 minute games. If I have the time, as we are looking at a beast master, oh foggy, going for a, a change up here, going for beast master first instead of the keeper of the grove. The bear is a very strong, um, a very strong summon. Can absorb a, a decent amount of damage, and the archers are a very strong backline here. And I like this um, use of the bear now, as the bears, as they absorb damage, can really um, well protect those precious, precious archers. And it's not like you really need to heal the damage off of the bear. You just need to give more mana back to that beastmaster. All right, remainder of this creep camp will get cleared up here in just a moment. Footman still doing a little bit of scouting tech to tier two already underway by Foggy as more moon, moon wells are being placed down. All right, Gargantuan Sea Turtle quickly cleared up. Archmage may try and get very close to level three. Is it going to be able to do that? Mountain King. Oh, no. Beastmaster picks up the Wand of Mana Stealing, and that was a big steal right there. Archmage losing that Wand of Mana Stealing. Beastmaster taking the item, and now denying a level 2 Water Elemental. So Beastmaster going to perhaps be able to even summon in an additional um, additional bear here to cause some problems. And this is just taking down peasants as well, shutting down, a, shutting down any possible expansion attempt. All right, Beastmaster, even as beefy of a hero he is, he cannot afford to take all of that damage coming in from that Archmage, as that Archmage may be able to get that final kill right there, down to 27 hit points. And what was that? All the archers showed up to only just uh, cause even more problems once more. All right, what is going down here? Is he going to try and buy some items? No, doesn't buy some items, just sell some. An archer quickly gets taken out. Did he buy and sell the Dust of Appearance? Um, that would actually be an ap an absolute brilliance move, allowing the archers to okay, shadow meld, as the ar as the archmage would not have the option to try and <clears throat> to try and reveal the, um, those archers with that dust. Uh, heading back off to the north here, Beastmaster, well needs to heal back up. Has taken a very large amount of damage. A um, little bit of a mistake by Foggy there, drinking from the the full or excuse me, the not full Moonwell first, but Beastmaster now back up to, well, full hit points and full mana. 
Naga Seawitch as that second hero. Going to come across here, perhaps try and focus down some of these units. Beastmaster, Archers, Footmen think, hey, there's only a solo hero here. But yeah, you don't want to be trying to run away from a Naga Seawitch. So much damage, um, especially as those Archers will be firing and lobbing arrows in the back as well. Water Elemental now dropped in from the backside here. Beastmaster, Naga Seawitch joining in. Blade joining in on this, well, Naga Seawitch battle as the Archers are now trying to retreat back as well. Footmen do, I don't know if they have the Fen, but they're really able to go after that Naga Seawitch here, pushing in all of that pressure and that damage. Footmen damage on that Naga Seawitch already down to 102 hit points as it is still trying to retreat. Ancient of War now in position and those Moonwells, well, drinking back up to get to full once more. All right, turning back around, Naga Seawitch. Are they going to try and engage to finish off some more of those units? Footmen retreating back here. And this is still such a strange map matchup. One thing I will say, because of how far the map is zoomed out, it this game, when I look at the map, it just doesn't feel like Turtle Rock, even though I know it is. Beastmaster being forced to retreat back once more, not going for the Quill Beast, instead going for that Hawk and eventual Thunderhawk, who will be effective at dealing damage to those footmen, especially if they end up getting defend. All right, so far in terms of predictions, what's going to happen? It looks like Foggy's going to go dual Ancients of Lore and then go into Dryads and, or, or sorry, excuse me, Mountain Giants alongside those archers. Dryads and Bears are also possible. Meanwhile, Blade, curiously enough, still uh, now just at keep getting up the Arcane Sanctum, not teching the Tier 2 or excuse me tier three and really not training any units anywhere that i see this is a bit strange right now as we are looking to get more riflemen or rifle casters out onto the battlefield not a lot of creeping not a lot of harassment on either side foggy still only sitting at level two on his beastmaster after seven minutes of play as the ancient of war did it eat through the trees no just um ate some trees to regenerate some hit points here um, Turtle Rock normally plays as a map where um, both sides are able to creep pretty hard, pretty effectively, getting to um, getting level three on their on their primary heroes and even level three on their secondary heroes pretty quick. It is an off meta game for the Night Elf, and we know. Nope, I don't. I don't know why. I don't know um, why that it was the chosen strategy here. Um, what Beastmaster Naga Sea Witch still wandering around a raging bear level um, two bear over level two thunderhawk um, beastmaster was pretty meta right now versus human maybe maybe specifically on this map um not 100 percent sure as the force troll warlord gonna end up getting taken down all right B naga sea witch beastmaster working out together come on take down that force troll oh no beastmaster purposely trying to get away to give naga sea witch the best opportunity to get to level two by taking down and or excuse me level three by taking down all of these higher level creeps by herself true shot aura the item for foggy exactly what the doctor ordered as Wisp are now coming over to try and repair. All right, massive repairs are underway. Scroll of Town Portal bringing in the army. Beastmaster gonna try and fight, and there goes that Ancient of War. Potion of Invulnerability used. We drew, or roar across the Druids of the Claw here as the army of archers all of a sudden dealing significantly more damage as the bear now going to continue to engage once more rejuvenation onto that beast master trying to finish off another retreating footman naga sea which is already at level three as we saw there was a bit of a backup earlier final nope not the final arrow it was down to one hit point expansion looks like it could be set up here in just a moment priest are sitting at well initiate training not yet have the spell magic as we are getting Dispel Magic to try and handle the summons of the Beastmaster. Beastmaster now, about 900 hit point bear, not really worried about the simple AoE Dispel Magic as we're now going into, well, a bear form for these Druids of the Claw. After a quick roar there, Ogre, Ogre Lord quickly taken down Beastmaster and Naga Sea, which I believe both of them are not going to get to level 4, but will get significantly closer as especially as the well, Endurance Aura going to be given alongside the Naga Sea Witch. That's going to be some very powerful items indeed. Is the Naga Sea Witch trying... Oh, pick up that item. Yeah, faster movement speed and attack speed so incredibly important as a big heal now comes across as well. 
down to the south. Archmage going to be picking up some more strong consumable items. Gargantuan Sea Turtles, these center expansions known for dropping those powerful consumable items, the Potion of Invulnerability, and that Potion of Greater Healing. Or a Potion of Greater Mana if you are a mana-based hero. Coming back down here, it looks as though Blade, yep, doing a little bit of creeping as well. And both sides really just sitting in no upkeep. Actually, no, Blade actually going into low upkeep. A little bit of a misstep needs to uh, well, shoot one of their own footmen to and get a significantly more experience or more gold as the Naga Sea Witch sits at level 3. There goes a footman. I don't know if it was on purpose or on accident, but getting out of low upkeep. All right, the items very powerful. Yeah, for Foggy, is he gonna, is Foggy just gonna try and continue to build off of these items? Foggy doesn't have a staff of preservation as of yet. I don't. Oh no, it has a staff of preservation. We just haven't seen it used. As the Beastmaster comes back from the shop, also with an orb of venom. Going down across here, we need to see the remainder of these bears try to get healed up or get a little bit more a little bit more mana as well as Scourge Bone Chimes. And that is going to be a great item if it goes on the Beastmaster. The bears will really be benefiting from that Scourge Bone Chimes as well, being able to regenerate some hit points while they are in that frontline location. All right. Turtle Rock known for a lot of gargantuan sea turtles all across the map. But with that said, well, is that a level one? Yeah, level one hawk. Oh, Naga Sea Witch is almost level five. Beastmaster is sitting at level three. All of the creep camps have now pretty much been cleared out as a, a hawk doing a little bit of scouting quickly cleared up as well. All right. Supply 63 for Blade compared to Foggy's about 51. If there is a fight all of a sudden, I don't believe that Foggy's going to be quite ready for it. No slow though. Fork Lightning Archer quickly shadow melds in time as we are looking at damage still come on through. More damage coming in across there. Naga Sea Witch trying to well, retreat back. Blade does keep track of all of this here as the Naga Sea Witch with Endurance Aura able to still walk fairly fast. Boot of Speed, however, on the Naga Sea Witch for Blade still going after that Naga see which here beastmaster continuing to just body block here now after staff of preservation gonna be in a little bit of trouble by him and um, by himself as we are looking at that beastmaster with slow cast on him and now archers could end up getting taken down beastmaster is still taking more slow damage here endurance aura on that on this naga sea which causing some problems as foggy may be forced to try and well retreat back here are we gonna see another slow yes we are foggy in a bit of trouble after all that time as we see, well, a Tome of Strength plus two being left behind and Blade setting up this Scout Tower. This is key here. There is expansions all over the map. Foggy taking a play out of Moon's playbook, uh, pretty much trying to set up expansions everywhere, making it look as though his opponent is well, losing expansion. However, what is going on here? Blade and Foggy, they're going to be exchanging a little bit of bases. There's a scroll of Town Portal here. The keep, however, could have been destroyed. Where are they going to land? There they are landing, pretty much surrounding one bear. A second bear could end up getting taken down. There is slow on that bear. Cold arrows, and that bear is taken out as well. All right, two bears lost there. Moonwell lost here, all for a scroll of Town Portal. Meanwhile, a scout tower is nearing completion here as a lone raging bear gonna try and take down this scout tower here all right scout tower taking a fair bit of damage down to what 185 hit points gonna end up finishing that upgrade and that bear will finish it off all right off to the corner blade is gonna spot wait this expansion how long has it been up and running how dare he as he sets up another scout tower here and well sends his army to try and shut this down all right however once more repeating that strategy again foggy trying to put pressure inside the actual main base here of blade when you are up on bases base trading actually looks like a very good idea and that's exactly what is happening here raging bear taking down peasants where are more well there's more fork lightning coming across arcane tower not going after foggy's naga sea witch that could be a very big deal indeed as the bear is just uh, dealing so much damage again and again naga sea witch perhaps should have given the scroll of town portal to the beast master a follow-up fork lightning across all of those peasants would have greatly shattered blade's economy 
All right, entangling a new gold mine here. This gold mine nearly done entangling as well as the peasant is going to be looking to see, well, where exactly are those expansions? And the answer to that question is everywhere. Expansions as far as the eye can see. And as I, as a meme pops into my head oh, and, and now, well, Beastmaster and Agassi, which now making their way down. All right, Archer's going to be able to finish off that scout tower here. Army making their way down. Arm, or, well, Army of Casters making their way through. Blade going to try and, well, shut down another expansion here. Foggy is still sitting on 56 supply compared to 62. There's another Fork Lightning. And what is going on? The bear, Naga Siewich, now sits at level 5. Beastmaster sits at level 4. Naga Siewich losing quite a bit of mana. Scroll of Town Portal. Are we going to see another, well, Scroll of Town Portal to try and get away? Yes, we are. And the units are now, well, retreating all the way back. Naga, or Beastmaster could try and turn around. Staff of Preservation saved that Naga Siewich. Naga Siewich, however, with Endurance Aura. Um, a player's yeah, it's Blade, not attack. Romantic. All right, yeah, it's Blade. I'm like, like, why, why are you confusing me? Ah, all right, new expansion being bu built. New expansion being built. Current expansion mining away. Trying to finish things off again. Army is in position to try and intercept. Heroes are off over here to perhaps try and shut down this no, exactly. uh, this expansion again as the army going to be coming across. The army of Blade, 57 supply compared to 48 here. Bears are coming into position. Naga Siewich, are they going to try and turn this around as the bear able to push on in once more? Beastmaster is going to be try uh, trying to do a, a tactical retreat. He's going to be doing exactly that. There's that scroll of town portal. Low hit point bear could get focused down pretty quick. There's a fork lightning to tr finish it off before the scroll of town portal took him away. All right, level five, level four going up against the level four, level seen. five. Archmage seeing that level five here. It's still dropping water elementals um, just to leave behind a unit just in case. More wisp we're painting, uh, mining here as we are going to be getting up another gold mine or another two. Foggy just setting up expansions as far as the eye can see, dealing. Um, and while trying to constantly trade efficiently, Archmage could be in a little bit of trouble here. And, well, Blade has not had a time to set up his own expansion. He's down to five minutes of mining in his main base. And, well, the even though he is... Well, what is going on here? Our, um, Water Elementals, come on, just finish it off. One final attack will give you experience. No, Time Life finishing that off right there as the Thunderhawk. Now going to dive on in and try and take down that Arcane Tower. Arcane Tower... Um, well, it looks as though the the Thunderhawk could have actually won out on the battle. The Arcane Tower was actually going after the bear for just a moment as the fight going on back across here. All right, more damage coming here. Dryads are getting lost. Fork Lightning coming down. Is that Naga Siewich going to be able to get away? It looks as though it is going to be able to get away. That Endurance Aura allowing him to move around the map so quickly as the Archmage can now be in trouble. Archmage, Potion of Invulnerability. Bears low on hit points. On a Blades Archmage getting very close to level six as well as the as Foggy's Bears are trying to retreat back. Foggy's Bears look like they will be able to retreat back again as the Beastmaster could be in trouble. F um, Cold Arrow is still landing onto that Beastmaster. No slow though, as that should no finally a slow going down onto the Beastmaster down to 180 hit points, trying to use the scroll of town portal. Foggy is playing a very, very messy game indeed. And and really just running all around the map. Blade, however, has not had the time to set up an expansion. And, and without the expansion, well, his um, Foggy is just going to constantly outmine his opponent and maybe take the game that way. All right. Well, Druids of the Claw walking by while in Druid form. Well, 500 hit point units, very easy to take out as Foggy going to lose two bears right there and continue to give Blade more experience on his heroes. Meanwhile, though, the Naga Sea Witch and the Beastmaster and the bears are gonna, just going to try and dive on in again. All right. Fork Lightning finishing off more units. I don't know how much gold Blade has been forced to spend on on peasants as peasant after peasant has just died here there's no peasants even on the lumber line at all keep about to get taken down fork lightning coming back in from the other side repairs trying to get underway down to 400 hit points it is falling ever so steadily as it looks as though this drew to the claw may get taken out but one keep is all that remains foggy is just a death by paper cuts 
and we're talking about um, what f four gold mines worth of paper. That's really what Foggy's um, play style is right now, and and it looks like it is working. The Naga Sea, which may have to sell a number of items to be able to set up an additional expansion. Dryad down over here trying to make sure has Foggy set up an expansion during any of this time? No. Or sorry, has Blade set up an expansion during any of this time? No. Thank you for the follows as the Squirrel of Town Portal well saving that Dryad back across here as well. Follows. Um, yeah, thank you for supporting me. I don't know how the Twitch algorithm works, but thank you for the follows as the Archmage now gets to level 6. Mass teleport. Alright, hit and run tactics work well. Except when you're going up against someone with mass teleport. And now, with mass teleport, the Archmage is going to be able to get into position and defend whatever he is trying to set up in the right moment. Naga Siewicz also sitting at level 6. We're going to be looking at some repairs here. Try to keep this building up and operational as long as it possibly can. And Naga Siewicz, well, there's some more repairs. There is mass teleport now trying to get away. Fork Lightning... Tree of Life escapes with three hit points. Tree of Life escapes with three hit points. Naga Siewicz going to try and go ahead and back away as well. 54 supply compared to 46. Are, are we just even going to try and bother mining from this gold mine? That is the question. Tree of Life still mining away here. As we see Wisp now chasing after this water elemental. Oh, are we going to get some detonations? Yo! detonations to stop the mass teleport all right foggy realizing that you know what i need to bring i need to make sure that there isn't gonna be a mass teleport to shut down this expansion and does exactly that this is a pretty strange strange game foggy and uh, now i'm um, well trying to resaturate the gold mine here setting up another gold mine here is he moving his tree of eternity um that is the question no he is not keeping that one tree of eternity in place even though gold even though the gold mine is mined out all right about three minutes of mining left for here meanwhile beastmaster is in trouble he ends up getting surrounded right there rejuvenation onto a druid of the claw but that's not going to be enough to keep him alive archmage still off to the races going after the this druid of the claw pretty quickly and it should end up getting taken down all right Drew to the claw trying to back away. Meanwhile, one rifleman right there, mass teleport, gonna be inbound as soon as this Drew to the claw is taken out. One more shot. There it goes. There's the mass teleport to try and deal with another base here. Um, or nope, teleporting down across here. Naga Siewicz does have a scroll of town portal. Is it gonna be able to back off in time? Naga Siewicz trying to retreat back once more, but the Archmage with mass teleport just so strong. Archmage. Where is he going to try and travel off to next? That is going to be where the action is constantly as a lone rifleman while doing target practice trying to take down that tree. Um, no altar, uh, altar of Elders not resurrecting the Beastmaster right now. Mass Teleport heading back over here. Foggy is now in trouble as it looks like well, the paper cutter of Mass Teleport is destroying this death by paper cuts now. All right, coming back down to the south here, Naga Siewicz finishing off more peasants. Once again, there is a roar. 53 supply compared to um, compared to a 54, but you got to remember the army size is 51 army supply size coming in from um, coming in from Blade. Meanwhile, Foggy only has 28 here as the Naga Siewicz. Are we gonna try and finish off this? There is now level six on the Naga Siewicz. Squirrel of Town Portal gonna try and finish things off here. Naga Siewicz down to 346 hit points finishes off the town hall and now gonna go ahead and escape all right we are there is gonna be a bit of revealing here as the rifleman is it gonna end up getting taken out the bear is a little bit too slow naga Siewicz trying to finish off this rifleman before he gets taken out time remaining mass teleport is yeah my a nice mass teleport causing problems and anyone who can read that for me let me know does blade even have a peasant no he has no workers whatsoever he has 48 uh he has 48 supply army all of that are army units none of them are workers out on the field and um, that's a rifleman right there more mining still getting underway foggy i wouldn't be surprised if foggy actually outmines his opponent by more than double in this game but i'm still not sure if foggy is going to win this matchup 22 workers 
and for Foggy, he's sitting on a large amount of lumber, not that much gold though, as Foggy tries to set up more expansions everywhere else. Now that the Naga Sea Witch has, oh, what is this mass teleport coming back in? And there is the army once again, Archmage, having only to save its mana for mass teleport while moving around. That is going to be absolutely key. What Foggy is going to try and do, Foggy is going to attempt to use, um, well, a tornado to try and destroy some of these buildings. The army of Blade is just far too strong here as the Naga Sea Witch is retreating back again. All right, are we going to see a detonation? No. Druid of the Claw taking a little bit of damage. Meanwhile, back across here, Mass Teleport going to be coming in on, on time. Beastmaster nowhere to be seen. Dryads. Oh, here we are. In comes the main army, and this could potentially be a problem. All of a sudden, the units need to retreat back, get away. A Dryad down to 72 hit points, but able to escape. With that said, the positioning foggy is going to take a little bit of time to try and walk on over to the main base. And by the time that happens, this tree of life is going to be nearly destroyed. Are we going to be looking at some repairing as we are looking at a new base coming in across here? Tree of life, no repairs. And well, with no repairs, the Archmage is going to go ahead and try and mass teleport back out. Fork lightning. Nope. There goes finishing off two of those peasants and teleporting back out again. Naga Sea Witch does have tornado here trying to destroy some of these buildings. But the buildings are just taking damage. Is the uh, Naga Sea Witch going to be able to escape back out? It looks like it was. Beastmaster was resurrected with the Staff of Preservation. All right. A lot of buildings being lost here. Is this going to turn into a base race scenario? Rifleman trying to shoot this down as well. 35 supply compared to 43. Army sizes, 43 compared to 21. Two heroes working together once again. The Night Elf Army, Tavern Heroes coming uh, together. Are we going to see the death of a Dryad by creeps? No, that would absolutely be horrendous. Meanwhile, Tree of Eternity now making its way up back across here. Staff of Preservation will not take you back home to a safe, full, <clears throat> to a safe position. Coming back down here, Tree of Eternity looking to well, take down this Water Elemental. Water Elemental is able to stop this entangling of the gold mine. Meanwhile, Beastmaster continuing to fight here, perhaps trying to take down this Altar of Kings. Mass Teleport once more getting in the way as the Archmage and Naga Sea Witch going to be working together. All right, Blades Naga Sea Witch does not have Tornado, which actually might be a really good ability right here to try and clear up some of these moon wells and remove some of the night elf advantage invisibility now being cast on the riflemen as well allowing them um, to be invisible markers um, for mass teleport this is going to be key indeed but i i'm really surprised well i, I don't know if that was oh, there's another mass teleport where's the archmage traveling to next teleporting back home as the naga sea witch well, was trying to set up a tornado situation, now being forced to retreat back. Archmage dropping in some water elementals for good measure. Rifleman, well, that's going to get entangled. This is nearly entangled as well. Invisible, Invisible Beacons is the name of the game now, as the Naga Sea Witch still trying to find out where to go. Need to buy boots for heroes. Yeah, well, boots of speed, incredibly, well, movement speed is incredibly important. Mass teleport onto that invisible rifleman tree of eternity, taking a large amount of damage. And this could be that problem situation here. Archmage, does it have the scroll of town portal? Of course not as it is going to go ahead and try and shut down Foggy's expansion down to 1,100 hit points and dropping relatively quickly. But now the main base could be in trouble. Monsoon could be, or Tornado could be coming in, and there it goes. M many of those buildings are going to be taken out very, very quickly now as those buildings are going to end up being lost. Blade is going to be in trouble. That Tornado trying to change positions, trying to perhaps focus down all of these buildings. There's not many buildings left. And that is going to be the issue. All right, couple of buildings going to get taken down there. The farm is right there. Is it going to try and pick up anything else as the Naga Sea Witch is going to retreat back? What is going to happen to that Beastmaster? Staff of Preservation transferred. And where does it go? It goes off over here, down at 10 hit points, and then going to go ahead and mass teleport back to these moon wells. All right, I really think if Blade dives on in here takes down the moon wells it will absolutely shut down foggy i think that's what he needs to do there's nothing to really stop the channeling and well blade also has the larger army 
and this is just going crazy. It was a little bit stale for a short amount of time, but now this is just a off the wall game here as riflemen are just trying to shut down expansions all across the map. And well, in comes the Archmage to get in some damage once more. All right, Water Mental gonna go ahead and finish things off here. Yeah, just send a rifleman into that position, um, mass teleport, take down those moon wells, remove the healing abilities as we're now heading back home again. All right, Thunderhawk is back here. Naga Sewage going to try and uh, put some pressure down there. Thunderhawk able to back up. There's only a handful of buildings left once more. As we're looking at, well, moon wells trying to be built. Um, um, I don't know, well, Moonwell trying to be built in the middle portion of the map, and now in comes the army, and, well, taking down another rifleman and taking down some wisps, too. Naga Sea Witch making its rounds again. Um, well, this Naga Sea Witch, only six seconds. It, I think the timing on this is going to be for another tornado positioning right here. Where is it going to try and tornado? That is the that is the question now. Trying to transfer some of those items, heading to the very far back. Not really tornadoing at all. I would have thought there would have been a tornado. There's the tornado taking down some of those buildings, but a counter tornado to stop the channeling. All right, counter tornado stopping the channeling right there. And now this is a problem indeed as the Naga Sea Witch and the Beastmaster are pretty much trapped on the other side. Uh, Foggy going to finally be able to teleport back out. But, well, the damage was already done. Who uses a tornado as the counter to tornado? All right, so tornado countering tornado. Um, mass teleport, uh, so many problems, so many issues. Blade has the larger army, but without a building, you lose. And that is the that is the problem. Foggy is the one who can have buildings, and it helps that his buildings can heal themselves by picking themselves up and eating other trees. This is the well. There's still tree two tree of life's out here on the map right now. Um, still um, getting into position. Archmage going to try and finish off some additional trees of life here. Archmage does have level 3 Brilliance Aura as we're looking at the Beastmaster try attempting to take down buildings again. All right, this is going to become a potential problem. New School of Town Portal um, on that Beastmaster just in case it needs a quick get out of jail free card. And what is going to end up happening as this tree of life going to get taken down? Foggy saying, you know what, I still have plenty of... Of, uh, I still have plenty of um, gold as the mass teleport blade now trying to save his expand or save his main base and is it going to come down to building hit points again that bear in mid swipe onto that farm but it still ends up getting taken out sorceresses archmage naga sea witch all on the move here going to try and go after some of those units naga sea witch taking a little bit of damage perhaps a slow will be cast from the dryads and to try and slow things up are we going to see a tornado that would be absolutely hilarious to use tornado to try and stop um the mass um, the the staff of teleportation as a rifleman now coming in to stop this tree of life right here all right there it goes it gets taken out as a blade still trying to shut things down. Where is the rest of the army? Scroll of Town Portal coming back here, finding that rifleman, and now going to try and take it out. Mass teleport not going to be in time, as this rifleman will get finished off here. Every unit matters so much. One more hit, and it does get taken out. Mass teleport is on cooldown, unable to get into position, and that's going to give opportunity for Foggy to dive on in with a tornado to take down buildings. There is the tornado to take down buildings. The mass teleport still on cooldown. Needs another three seconds, but every second matters so much as another building is going to bite the dust as it moves on over. All right, Blacksmith, come on. It's down to 19 hit points. Is it going to get taken down? It finally gets taken down. More buildings getting lost. Staff of Teleportation coming across here. Naga Sea Witch, is it going to be enough? There is a Cyclone or the, there's a Tornado, but the buildings are taking so much damage. Beastmaster are going to try to head off to the very far back here, finish off these last couple of buildings. Only a couple of hundred hit points is the difference. And the lumber mill could end up getting taken down. One more shot. There goes more damage again. And it's one farm. One farm left for Blade. A player's forces are under attack. 235 hit points. One farm left. Um, this is a quite the standoff here. And what is... Um, at, at this stage, if Foggy just buys a potion of invisibility... And it just hides hides inside of the base, it, it, waiting for Mon or Tornado to come to an end. I think Foggy would win. Foggy, 
um, just mining gold everywhere on the map, constant problems. There is just one farm left and one farm only as Foggy's well, now going to go ahead and teleport back um, out into the middle of the field. All right, we need to see a mass teleport coming in from the Archmage and Blade just throws in the towel now knowing that he can't do anything about it. Resource score. Foggy more than double his opponent's and mined gold, but still a very, very close and entertaining game. Um, Foggy just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Foggy also with significantly less score, um, still able to take that matchup. I don't know. You guys watch it along with me. What's a good summary? What's a good title? Absolutely great game. Not a game that I've I've ever seen before. Not traditional in any sense. And map positioning, well, making such a big deal in this game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, thank you for the sub.